G'day. We're going to have a look into the new Asus ZenBook Dual. This is the 2024 edition and I have actually reviewed in the past the ZenBook Dual. It is a dual screen laptop and 2024 edition has actually brought a new light to it as they've actually increased the second screen and it's actually a very similar form to a previous laptop I've actually reviewed last year and that is the Lenovo Yoga Book 9 and I gave that the best laptop of 2023 and looking at this ZenBook Jewel I was very excited when I saw the announcement in the CES 24 and the reason for that is there was a bit of improvements I saw from the Lenovo Yoga Book 9 and I'll just show them very quickly to you and one thing is as it looks like a normal laptop to you at the moment it actually weighs it has a little bit of weight to it uh, that is because of the major battery but really what has really got me really interested is the fact that it has a kickstand that's a built into it and once it has the kickstand in there you can pretty much have this hold by itself really cool and then with the keyboard you can then just pretty much just detach it uh, you can actually move this around it is uh, Bluetooth keyboard and voila you have two 3k OLED displays and they have a refresh rate of 120 hertz each that is absolute fantastic this is have really made a really nice featured laptop this is ZenBook Dual 2024 edition and I really love the fact that you've got a kickstand so that was something that I really kind of let's say was quirked out by with the Yoga Book 9 and this is just a whole unit that just comes as it is I didn't have to carry an extra case the keyboard is not is pretty much packs into this as you can see it's very nice and also of course it has that gesture control for the second screen to bring up uh, just wait for that it's just pretty much just six fingers so I'll just tap that and then you've got the soft keyboard and trackpad absolute fantastic you can actually swipe that down and you can actually move it around then that looks like the old ZenBook Jewel it's really nice and again very nice to actually just snap this on and that is made it and actually charges it at the same time now you can charge it separately it is a Bluetooth keyboard absolute great now I love this experience because pretty much I even if I use it like this but most of the time I use it in a dual screen it's just nice when you sit down you have the main display nearly pretty much eye level so you're not actually looking down all the time it is such a gorgeous experience such a nice experience to work on productivity wise and I find it's a very very polished it runs just as fast I'm trying not to use the buzzword of 2024 the two letters or the two words this is of course with the new Intel Core Ultra now this one's the uh, Core Ultra 9 and of course it's got the MPU cell it can it is classified as that two letter word I know I'm not going to try and get this in the meta tags but it does able to do all that stuff and it is really quick so absolute fantastic as you can see I actually got this case I'm just going to show this case as well so it does Asus does include this nice little slip case for it which is really good as you can see uh, it does have come with a pen here so oh, this is just a nice place where they place the pen and this as you saw what I did with it is you can actually just fold the actual top part of this and then just put it up and then you get another ledge and so it's just a nice use of the actual slip case that Asus actually packs in with this ZenBook Jewel. I love how Asus have actually added extra little bits that you don't need to add in by. So really nice addition to it. The only thing I can say is a nice little improvement is that I like to see this one. It, oh, you can feel it's got a little magneticness, but once you actually pack the laptop in, you don't feel that magneticness for it as much. So it'd be nice to just have a little bit more uh, magnets or just a little bit more stronger. That's the only really thing I can say about this. But wow, it's, great. it's a really nice case that it comes with. Measuring the color gamma coverage of the 3K OLED display which has a maximum brightness rating of 400 nits. It resulted with 100% sRGB coverage, 95% Adobe RGB coverage and 99.4% DCI-P3 coverage. Now this is extremely high and it is suited for professional photo and video editing tasks. Testing out both displays, it has very similar color gamut coverage. 
don't be fooled by the quality of the keyboard even though it is sandwiched between two OLED displays. Asus have not cheaped out on this keyboard. This is actually one of the very nice feeling keyboards. Now those who have followed my channel know that I absolutely love Lenovo ThinkPad keyboards. They just feel great and look great and just it's general just the typing of it. It's kind of like a programmer's keyboard. It really has that nice recall of nice sizing and the feel of the shape of the keys. And uh, the Asus ZenBook Dual keyboard whew, is right up there. Maybe on par, maybe even beat it. It is right up there. So surprisingly, it is fantastic to type on. Now we do have a large size flat surface keys. It got good spacing in between on them and got surprisingly a lot of keyboard travel for something on that is sandwiched between two displays. Aces have actually made quite a lot of effort in this. We've got a very good tactile feel to it. Just it's that recall bounce and the retractionness of the actual keys. It just feels really good. And as you can see, with his backlit here, now it's got four settings for the backlight. You've got off, low, medium, and high, and they are very quiet keys. So absolutely fantastic for business and productivity work. So great for the office and the actual trackpad. Now this is a very polished trackpad. It feels so silky smooth, very reactive, and of course it's mostly gesture and it is mechanical, so there's a hinge at the top, and you can depress it as you move way down all the way through. And it's just very silky smooth. This whole keyboard and trackpad combo is so polished, feels so nice. Actually type and use them. So absolutely fantastic. And of course, this is all touch for both displays. Quickly looking at the ports, we got a USB Type A port, which is a USB 3.2 Gen 1, and then we also have two Thunderbolt 4 ports. And looking on the right hand side, we have a full size HDMI port, which is version 2.1, and also a combo audio jack. I do like the combination ports that Zeus has put on this, as you don't need to carry adapters with you. This is a recording from the 1080p webcam from the ZenBook Duo 2024 edition. This is the audio and video and editor can hear and see what the quality of the webcam is like. Now normally I'll have the laptop propped up on a laptop stand just to give it a little bit more eye level, but because of the fact that this has a dual screen and it's got its own kickstand, it actually props up by itself on my table. I've got no extra assistance for this and it's nice to actually have the webcam pretty much nearly on eye level. Now this is gonna be very nice for people in the video conference, if you're on Zoom or Teams meeting, it's just nice for the participants to actually see you actually looking more at the webcam and it's on the total eye level as you'll be probably more than likely looking at the main display. If you're gonna do other stuff, you can even have the do other stuff on the second display. It's kind of cool there. And it's just nice different ideas on there. Now, as always in this part of the video, I do have two lights currently turned on. I've got my one studio light turned on, also got the down lights in this room turned on for ambience. Now I'm gonna turn off my one studio light off and you can see this adjust now. My two down lights in front of me is a bit far away, so there's not much light hitting on my face. This is what I consider a dark environment. So if you're in an office environment, you should have much more light than one I'm currently at, as there's more reflection light as it's coming, bouncing off my table, coming back on. But see, I actually did pretty well. I actually kind of like its actual ambient color from this, considering that. Now I'm gonna actually turn my one strip back on. You see this adjust and adjust is pretty nicely here. Now I'd definitely love to hear what your thoughts of this 1080p webcam, put a comment below. Now, because this is a double quota, double letter computer, it does have an MPU, so it will be able to run the Windows Studio effects. So I'm actually just going to quickly demonstrate that for you. So we're going to put on background effects. This is the standard blurry, and it is taken care by the MPU. Again, this is that double letter word. So you see, it actually is really, really quick. So does very well and now I'm actually going to do auto framing as this is a 1080p webcam. Now I'm going to try and bring this thing here. Now this is the double letter word taking care of this as this is a fixed pair and it is the MPU taking care. Now of course with the eye contact you actually had the eyes looking at it, but because of this computer being on the eye level it's not going to have that much issue there. It's more of that if I just kind of look down. Now I'm actually looking that way at the moment. Oh, hopefully you are. Now I'm just going to point at the same way where my eyes are looking at. So you maybe get the 
I'm not trying to use the word, the double letter actually taking care of that. So just to give you an idea, now I'm going to turn that off, just to give you an idea of the MPU at work with using the studio effect. The speakers are located on the bottom on either side of the ZenBook Dual. And when I test out the maximum volume of the speakers, it managed to measure a peak of 82.8 decibels. So I consider this like medium loudness. Now, as for the sound quality of the speakers, we actually have some very nice sounding speakers. It's got lots of bass, actually very decent amount of low end bass, and we've got very strong mids. It is balanced more towards the lows and mids. It has very nice reverb and acoustics on it. And it is actually quite nice in terms of clarity, even when it's set to its maximum volume. These are good sounding speakers. The ZenBook Dual comes with a large 75 watt hour battery. Now this is probably what contributes to most of the weight of this computer. And I tested it in two different modes. I tested it in the single display mode and also in the dual display mode. Now we'll start off with the single display mode. I managed to get 10 hours and 15 minutes for the modern office battery life test in PC Mark 10, one hour and 47 minutes for gaming, and eight hours and two minutes for video playback on the Procon battery life test. Now in dual display mode, I managed to get seven hours and two minutes for modern office battery life tests in PC Mark 10, one hour and 45 minutes for gaming and seven hours and 22 minutes for video playback in the Procon battery life test. Now comparing of the single display mode and dual display mode. Now for gaming wise, it didn't matter as most of the power consumption is from the processor. The weight of the ZenBook dual unit alone without the keyboard component is 1.38 kilos plus the keyboard component is 1.7 kilos. And also with the power adapter, now this is a 65 watt power adapter. I want to make an extra mention about how cool and how small this and light this power adapter is and as you can see it detaches it is your USB-C at the end and we're just going to add it to the bottom pack of this becomes a total weight of 1.88 kilos that you might be carrying around with you. Looking at temperatures and fan noise when I took my measurement the ambient temperature room was 18 degrees celsius and just to give you a reference point my hand was anywhere between 35 to 36 degrees celsius. So I took my measurements when the computer was in dual screen mode and took my base measurement when the computer was idle and the hottest air around on any of the two screens measured a maximum of 37 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it stayed silent at 35 decibels and the average internal core temperature was 51 degrees Celsius. Then I put 20% lower than the computer. That's pretty much average use. So that's tasks like off activity work, surfing web, streaming video and the hottest air around any of the two screen measure a maximum of 39 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it did spin up a little bit and it measured a maximum of 36 decibels. So still quite quiet. And the average internal core temperature was 55 degrees Celsius. Then I put 50% lower than the computer and at hottest area around any of the two screen measured a maximum of 40 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it spun all up to a maximum of 39 decibels and the average internal core temperature was 64 degrees Celsius. Then I put 100% lower than the computer and the hottest air around any of the two screen measured a maximum of 41 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise had a maximum of 40 decibels and the average internal core temperature was 66 degrees Celsius. Then I put the computer in performance mode to allow it to perform at its maximum and the hottest air around any of the two screen measure a maximum of 44 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it spun all the way up to a maximum of 46 decibels. So it's not actually that loud at all at maximum performance and the average internal core temperature was 79 degrees Celsius. I also measured the bottom back cover while it was in performance mode with 100% load and the hottest air around the bottom back cover measured a maximum of 48 degrees Celsius. And of course it stayed at 46 decibels for the fan noise. I also measured the computer while it was on battery mode with the keyboard on the second screen and had 100% load and the hottest air around the keyboard measured a maximum of 36 degrees Celsius. And as for the fan noise, it 
was at maximum of 40 decibels and the average internal core temperature was 72 degrees Celsius. And I also measured the bottom back cover while it had the keyboard cover and on battery and the hottest air around the bottom back cover measured a maximum of 44 degrees Celsius. Here's the results of the bench pass performed on the Asus ZenBook Dual. Here's the results for pass mark, City Bench R23, City Bench 2024, PC Mark, 3D Mark, Cross Mark, Crystal Disc Mark, Geekbench 5, Geekbench 6, Geekbench ML, Procon Office, Procon Photo Edit, Procon Video Edit, Procon NPU, Procon Machine Learning, Fugit Photoshop, Fugit Lightroom, Fugit Premiere Pro, Fugit After Effects, Luxmark, Burmark, Eugene Engine, SpecView Pref 13, SpecView Pref 2020, and some gaming benchmarks like Far Cry 6, Cyberpunk 2077, Bronzer 5, and F1 2023. The experience on the ZenBook Dual is absolutely marvelous. We got the Dual 3K OLED displays are just gorgeous and vibrant and actually work fantastically. And we also have this really cool and very nice feeling keyboard and touchpad. And we've got good sounding speakers of this and this ability to actually use the double screen and have the kickstand built into it and not having to worry about extra things and all the accessories that comes free from Asus, absolutely fantastic here. So overall, this is going to be right on the top spot for maybe being the best laptop of 2024. We have to see later on this, this year, see if anything can beat this, but so far my experience has been absolutely absolutely fantastic i love working on this asus zenbook dual 2024 edition now i do have to say people are going to ask me this i'm going to actually mention this i might as well go for it now for those who actually know me in person i actually run two operating systems and i run two devices quite a lot so i'm actually a windows user and a mac user at the exact same time i'll go between two very seamlessly between the mac Book and also our Windows computer. And I've got to say, those are going to ask me which would I prefer if I had to purchase one, and that is I would actually purchase this laptop just because for myself, I find this laptop has everything I need to use. I'm able to still work on my video editing work. I can still play some games. I've got this beautiful dual screen for productivity work, and I love actually the form factor. So as I age, it just makes it easier on my neck and head and the eye line here. And just overall feel this is so polished and just works so well. Now, for those that probably ask me, why would I actually choose the Mac? It's really pretty much the battery life. You do get more battery life from a MacBook, but geez, this thing can beat it in every other fashion. Absolute fantastic. What I'd like to see is an AMD version of this. That would be even cooler to see that. So definitely, the Asus ZenBook Dual 2024 edition definitely gives my big tick on there. You can see it has won a lot of awards from CES 24, and I know no reason why for it. Now, I hope you find this video informative and enjoy. If you did, even support my channel, smash that like button for me, share this video, it does help me out. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you next video.